he still doesn't see me. He's just freaking out. Welcome back to State of Decay 2 and my lethal sheriff run. Uh, it's been a little while since I played with these folks, and you can see that I've actually made some progress on bounties uh, over in my other community. And I'm thinking that there's a few different things I want to accomplish today. One is uh, I've got the next mission on the Blood Heroes arc, uh, which is the new mission that was added very recently by Wushu in one of the uh, one of the final updates to the game. And I've never played all the way through it, so uh, I want to pursue that. But my community is also getting low on both materials and meds, and so on my way down to this enclave, I think I'll probably want to stop in at this warehouse and this bathroom to see if I can pick up some stuff. Uh, and let me see, the feed and farm supply, that's food and stuff, so that's probably not going to have meds. Uh, oh, this place. You know what? I haven't searched this yet either, have I? Okay, yeah, so we're going to get a bunch of meds and materials and stuff on our way down, but ultimately our destination is down here with the blood heroes. And you can see that I've got some active bounties. If I do find some ammo, that would be nice because uh, I'm trying to collect some for an active bounty. And my other community uh, doesn't have a lot of access to ammo. They've already... Oh, wait, no, they didn't have a lot of access when they were still in Trumbull Valley, but I just moved them to a new place. They do have access to ammo. I won't worry about that. But I can also make progress on the uh, gas can related bounty by fueling up my spiky car right now. So there we go. Almost done with that. So if I complete that bounty, I'll probably go and collect the rewards at the bounty broker too. And all of those activities together will probably add up to one episode of my channel. So there we go. Uh, how are you all? Oh wait, you're not watching me live, so I can't get the answer. I would love to read your comments though, if anybody wants to comment about how you are doing. Uh, this is a weird time in history for reasons I won't fully go into right this second. Uh, so I'm having a weird time. And I'm also hearing some weird noises coming from probably some weird ferals. I don't see any ferals. Now this character does not have gunslinging. And as we have recently seen, uh, I am not good at fighting without gunslinging. So it is... Oh man... The difference of this new flashlight. I gotta say, of all the recent updates that Wushu has made to the game, the fact that I'm looking at this just horribly dark place, and then I turn on my flashlight, and things just brighten up. I wish all of life worked that way. So, yeah, let's just do some searching in here. Oh, we found our meds right off the bat. So now we're just putting icing on the cake. Yay, parts. I only have 9,000 of those. What? Whoa! Oh, one of you sneaky on-the-ground zombies. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, it is It is weird. Like, I'm still, you know, I realize that uh, the updates to this game have stopped. It's a little bit sad. Each new bug that I run into, I have to accept, is probably going to be there forever. Uh, but now and then, I'll run into things that are recent changes to the game uh, that I haven't really experienced that much yet. Like, for instance, the fact that, I mean, we always plan to have zombies lying in ambush inside buildings, uh, but our implementation of it just didn't end up working the way we intended. Uh, and we had a lot of priorities, and so we just kind of didn't worry about the fact that that didn't go the way we planned it to. Um, so when Wushu went through and actually made that actually happen, uh, it was basically realizing, you know, a version of the game that we had kind of wanted to have for a really long time and just never, never really implemented ourselves. And so I love seeing it. Like, I love, like, when a zombie, you know, as inconvenient as it is, when a zombie, uh, you know, comes and jumps at you uh, when you didn't see it coming, uh, I'm actually really happy to have that in the game. It's We always wanted it. It was, like, in our, one of our earliest uh, designs included that feature, and it's nice to actually have it. Do I have an outpost nearby? I've, okay, I am headed down here towards this outpost. Okay, we've got all of these outposts clustered around here. So originally, I think one of my earliest episodes was called Making a Safe Zone. Because as you can see, we've got zombies spawning everywhere, but they're basically avoiding getting too close to my possessions. So if we have a good spot for either a fuel or materials outpost, 
it might be good to to spread these out a little bit better. Like, what if I headed down here with all of my loot and kind of swapped out my current fuel outpost for this outpost? Okay, I keep hearing somewhere in the background the sound of a blood feral being alerted. Or is that the sound of it being alerted, or is that just the sound of it existing? Also, how do you get to this place? Uh, oh, I have missed the actual turn. This is a parking lot. You know what? I actually sometimes embarrassingly do this in real life. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good. Well, hey. I'm not going to complain about a juggernaut accidentally killing a bloater. That's just fine for me. However, that little crew is going to make it difficult for me to claim that outpost. Like, I'm kind of hoping... Like, if I have to get into a fight with... Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is not even... This outpost isn't even indoors. Yeah, this is going to go this is going to go poorly for me, isn't it? I mean, okay. Maybe not. Maybe most of the zombies have lost sight of me and just a couple nearby ones can hear me. Oh, just one more. Yeah, if I just sneak over here and claim this as an outpost. No, wait, can I claim it? Oh, oh, oh this might be a site with... A, I can't claim this. Yeah, this site doesn't actually have a claim table. Okay, never mind. So this is not going to be a fuel outpost. Well, does the shipping warehouse... It says it contains materials but it doesn't say that it provides materials so i'm i'm thinking no i'm thinking these are actually bad outposts hmm i mean okay one thing i could do uh let's get inside before i spend a bunch of time on the map just so i'm a little bit less visible to zombies this water bottle looks like the water bottles in uh zomboid and so and actually, oh, there's a bag of chips, too. I've been playing a lot of Zomboid lately in my in my free time. Not uh, making videos of it, just playing on my own. And uh, it's, like, affected all of my assumptions in my brain. Okay, so looking at my base, what is my food situation? Oh, you know what? Let's figure out what my food situation is after I trigger these two things. So both of these add 100% to my, to my food yield. So once that happens, that's my farm going from plus three to plus nine. So that adds six. And so that at least outstrips how much the food outpost provides. So what I'm wondering is, could I do without my food outpost? But why? You know, the food outpost is the one that's spread out. What I wanted to do was take one of these, either the materials or the fuel outpost, and move it somewhere else. So I still get the same benefit. But it's just in a more convenient spot. You know what? I think I'm just making too much out of all of this. I should just go to the swine and bovine, drop off my stuff. I just wanted to make it more convenient. You know, I just wanted to take fewer and shorter trips. But I guess since I'm here and I don't have a rucksack on my back, I'm going to look for a fuel rucksack. Definitely not fast searching right now. Not with all of these. Okay. Not with all these zombies around. And I'm only going to search in places that might have a fuel rucksack. Because, again, that's all I can carry. There we go. Fuel rucksack. All right. Let's get back to the car. Oh, there's, there's the guys I'm trying to avoid. I 
I kind of like playing this way. Like, you know, I usually am just running around being an idiot all the time, but trying to avoid conflict actually feels kind of good. I mean, once I start this engine, they're definitely going to see me. At least I can limit their damage. Okay, okay. On the road again. Again, I heard another feral sound. Like, I feel like the more feral sounds I hear without actually seeing a feral, like, the worse the feral encounter is going to be. That's not based on anything. That's just me being superstitious. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? I'm stopping here because I planned to stop here, but my inventory's full. What I'm really doing is going to the outpost. Why can't I keep track of basic information in my head? I've just been mentally running myself ragged lately. I, I can't do normal things anymore. All right. Here's the actual place I was headed. Here's where I can deposit a rucksack. Here's where I can drop crap out of my inventory. And yeah, I guess if I wanted this to be a looting run, maybe I should have brought a vehicle with more capacity. <laughs> but I'm also a little paranoid because I've been playing in the Nightmare Zone for the past little while and now I'm in Lethal again and I'm like, uh, I need a spiky car. Especially since I'm playing a character who doesn't have um, uh, gunslinging. Okay, so before I go after the Blood Heroes, I still kind of want to get some materials and some medicine. Oh, hey, bloaters. You know what? Okay. I mean, how close do I want to drive to those clouds? Over here is fine, I guess. Oh. All right. Now we can get some meds. Oh, I ended up on top of the car. That was great. I, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I was pushing Y to close the door, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a dead zombie. That's fine. Uh, Looks like nothing in here. Okay. Guess I can search this. I don't think this is going to have meds in it, though. They don't have those kinds of vending machines. My favorite vending machine I ever found was one time uh, I was en route to India... Uh, because the team that I was working with was partially based in India. And along the way, uh, we, we, we basically had a layover, like a long layover, like six hours or more um, in Dubai. And so we wanted to see the sites in Dubai. And I actually happened to have a family member who lived in Dubai at the time. Um, and so we got him to sort of give us a tour. And he took us uh, to the Burj Khalifa. And the thing that was interesting was, you know, there's basically like this kind of massive shopping center underneath the Burj. And so we went we went to a restaurant at that shopping center and it was delicious. Uh, but when we were hanging around that shopping center, whoa, gah. All right, hold on. While we were hanging around that shopping center, we saw some, I think somebody knocking on the door. No? Oh, 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 crap. Come on. All right. I think we're done with that. <laughs> this is turning into a long, drawn-out story that is not worth the time you're spending to hear it. Uh, but uh, there were vending machines that served, that, that served, that sold gold. And I was just like, wow, what what kind of place is this that uh, 
that a typical person in this shopping mall is going to be looking at the price of gold and how it fluctuates each day and deciding to buy some gold from a gold bend- vending machine because the price took a dip and they think it'll be profitable. Who does that? People in Dubai. That's who does that. So yeah, I, so far I haven't found a vending machine that tops the gold vending machines of Dubai. Oh, we've got a little friend over here. Do, 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 do. And this is a life in the lethal zone. Just like <laughs> sneaking around. Nothing bad happens. Can we make the can we make it this way all the time? I get like I get full credit for playing in the lethal zone, but I actually don't get into any trouble. Okay, there is a horde up near my second destination. And I don't know what kind of horde. Oh, yeah, it's just a regular old horde. I will absolutely take a regular old horde. No juggernauts, no plague zombies. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, they're getting closer, though. Let's, uh... Oh, no, and now I have to make a noise. Revolutionary War Zombies. All of my favorite things are happening today. Okay, well, I'm filling up on stuff. There, that's what I came here for. And we're out. Yeah, right now I am leading a semi-charmed kind of life in the lethal zone. <laughs> Everything is going... Ooh, oh, bloater. I was about to say, everything is going really well, and then I was going to run into a bloater. That's kind of what I've been waiting for. Like, I keep saying all these positive things. Almost kind of hoping that something terrible is going to happen to make it funny that I said something positive. But so far... Things have generally stayed positive. Now, there is a horde on its way in my direction. So it's entirely possible that it could... Wait, what? Okay, technically it's still there. You saw it too, right? There was a horde on the horizon over here. I wonder if it's just barely out of range. So that like me moving around like this is causing it to spawn and despawn. Huh. Okay, well, we've done all of our secondary objectives, and this is how I roll in any game, is I do all my secondary objectives first, and then do the main objective. Our main objective was the Blood Heroes. So let's, um, oh, 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 let's just do some of that. Avoid some screaming. So much of what I do in life is to avoid screaming. Like, my entire parenting strategy is really just about avoiding screaming. Both me screaming and the children screaming. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, I'm coming in to talk to you. Come here, Seneca. Okay, so Sunny went out to recover some of our equipment we had to leave behind, but we haven't heard from her in some time now. Our whole operation could fall apart without her. Would you be willing to help us find her? Um, I'll see what I can find, but don't be surprised if it's bad news. Which area did she head to? She should be right around Ridgeline West. It's a good place to start. So Ridgeline West is over here, I guess. Um, I'm betting that they have put this marker on the region icon, on the on the region space, which is like 
probably a giant square. <laughs> it's about this big. So I'm, I'm thinking that this thing is not telling me precisely where she is. But we'll head in this direction and see where it gets us. Because Ridgeline West, I don't think, is the name of a of a tiny location. It's not the name of a site. It sounds like the name of a, of a region. There's only a handful of missions that actually use those region names. Okay, so what road do I want to take? That one. Okay. Uh. Okay, so... I wander over this direction. Oh, oh no, it is on a specific building. It didn't look like it was, but... Oh, what? Oh, oh, there she is fighting a bunch of... She's already chopped all their legs off. Oh, that's funny. Has she just been... Doing nothing but chop legs off? How odd. I don't know if I've ever seen a mission spawning just legless zombies. Hey, where are you? Oh, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. 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 You're just like Seneca. Come here. Man, am I glad to see you. I got trapped after coming to get some of our equipment. Zombies almost had me for lunch. Thank you. Maybe try to be a bit more careful next time. All right. Let's take her back to the Blood Heroes. Is there any, any stuff to get around here? Gonna get some stuff. Oh hi. Escort Sunny back to the base of the Blood Heroes. Notice that construction. You that's not how you would normally say it. You would normally say the Blood Heroes base. The problem is, I think there's multiple names that that Enclave can have. And so, so and, and they, those names would all be like made possessive in different ways in English. Um, because blood heroes would just have an apostrophe at the end. But if it was something that without an S at the end, uh, you might have to put a full apostrophe S there. And there might be other problems in other localized languages. So they figured that saying the base of the blood heroes would just solve them a lot of problems. So I'm just kind of delaying going back because I'm like, oh, I don't have a full inventory of loot right now, and I kind of want one. I don't even know what I just picked up because this icon didn't appear. Uh, what did I pick up? Was it the fireworks? I guess it's probably the fireworks. Oh, only a handful of zombies around here. You call this zone lethal? Oh, well, okay. That happened, I guess. Huh, this zone is barely inconvenient. <laughs> Sorry I keep uh, kill-stealing you there, Sonny. No, not you. I want to pick up a plague sample. Excuse me, sir? Okay, it looks like... I like this flooded thing here. Like, what is going on? Who built this? When? Did they not know this was going to happen? Was there like a, a sink? Is this a sinkhole that appeared later? Or did somebody just like, in a dry summer month, they're like, oh, I'm going to build a shed, and they just didn't pay attention to the fact that this is a pond in the fall? I don't know. But it looks like... Yeah, there's nothing around here. What am I even doing? All right, back to the car. Back to the car, Sonny. Let's go. Back to the car. How are we doing on gas in this car? Oh, well, it would still use more than a gas can, so. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a feral. Oh, and there's a bunch of screamers, too. Hmm. Just 
Just a moment, Sonny. Oh! Got the timing of that just wrong. Okay, now they're dead. Farrell's freaking out. <laughs> Has he found me yet? No, he's just knocking all of his friends over. Oh, dang. There we go. Oh, I shot you. I shot you. Oh, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> he still doesn't see me. He's just freaking out. He's like knocking over all of his friends. Can you knock them all over? I want. You're missing one. You missed one. <laughs> He is impossible to shoot. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love my fake A47. Okay. That was enormously wasteful. I didn't even have to engage those zombies. And actually, I'm kind of running low on bullets, so I don't know what I was thinking. Would have been much better to just hit the screamers with the car and let the feral kill itself on the spikes. But we're here to have fun. This isn't a video job. This is a video game. <laughs> I'm going to make that my incredibly stupid slogan now. Hearing a lot of zombies around me, but not seeing them. Oh, there's one. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't want you to interrupt my conversations, okay? So can you just die, please? I'm sorry, Sonny. I know I just keep kill stealing you. I apologize. Oh, Sonny has something for me. Come here, Sonny. Hey, give me your thing. What? what what's your thing? Uh, oh, a blood donor shirt. Yes, I've got the blood donor shirt. All right, somebody's got to put on the blood donor shirt. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Uh, Adam? Adam doesn't have a... I mean, he has a slightly weird costume on, but not that weird. Yeah, blood donor shirt. There we go. And he's wearing a red hat to match. Awesome. All right, mission complete. So now, I mean, we accomplished what we're here to do. Everything went well. Kind of freaked out a little bit. Um, we do have a couple of dead plague hearts to grab. Why don't we grab a couple of dead plague hearts on the way home? Give, give the zombies, you know, an opportunity to ruin our day. Ain't nobody gonna break my stride. Nobody's gonna hold me down. Oh no. I got to keep on moving. I think that was fair use, right? <laughs> and die in the face. Oh. Looks like a bloater exploded way down there for no reason. Okay, we've got multiple screamers. If I shoot one of them, the other one's going to go off. So I'm just going to leave them down there. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't actually have space to do an execution on this zombie. It's not letting me do it because there's, like, collision in the way. Oh, there's so many of them. You guys just basking in the warmth of the plague heart? Okay, well we got some food, and I will not argue with some ammunition. Um, this is more stuff than I can carry, obviously, because I've been carrying stupid stuff. Um, I mean, I guess the main thing I'm here for is rucksacks anyway. Actually, oh, 
my gas just got a little bit better, so I'm going to refuel the Impaler. And actually, I was hoping to refuel this sucker twice before getting close to the Bounty Broker. So now we've done a second Bounty. That's opened up two slots in my inventory. Oh, and you know what? I've already got a Plague uh, Sample stack, so we can, we can pick up several things. So we can get some samples. We can get... I don't know. What do we value in this thing? Some drugs, I guess. Don't value that. We'll just drop that. Screw you, snacks. Don't care. Um, we'll grab the Halligan tool, drop the large backpack. And I'll just leave that stuff there because I don't care. Oh, wait. There's one more container. Just one more container. What? Uh, what's in here? Oh, I can't carry seven parts. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I going to do? This won't cause me any problems, right? Is that horde still down there? No, of course not. How many times am I going to do this exact series of actions? Oh, there's everybody. Hey. Hey, how are you all doing? Let's get you all bundled up tight together, okay? Oh, oh, especially against the spikes. All right, here we go. Come here. So, the, okay. So, the horde was there. They were just a little far away and they got culled. And it looks like these guys... Were somehow separate from the two screamers that were down there. I assumed they were all part of the same horde, but these guys came up and the screamers didn't. Maybe the screamers are just too slow, or maybe they were just their own horde. And they just happened to be in the same place as the other guys. Interesting. Hmm. All right, anyway. I only feel bad about the fact that I didn't grab any ammo. I, you know what? I don't think... I don't have space to grab anything else from this thing, do I? Well, I, I guess I could get some plague samples from it. We might as well head over that direction. I got time. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. It's a fancy sound. Closer than the other false alarms that I've been getting. Anybody following me? No? There's a guy. Okay. Oh, another fake A47. I do love these. And a Gladius. All right. Yeah, let's leave this here so that we can come back for it later. I'm not going to try to drop everything out of it because I don't want to forget it exists. Oh, here's all the people that reacted to the broken glass. I'm just going to leave them here. They can enjoy this lovely house. Oh, here, here's my friends. <laughs> this is the best car in the game. My car, my car. Oh, 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 
if you've played your, this game, you know what I'm feeling right now. That was a bloater on the ground, and I almost hit it. <laughs> but I'm having the luckiest playthrough in the lethal zone. The luckiest session of the lethal zone that I've ever had. Wait, I can't... I'm coming over to Beaumont, and I can't even hold anything. Okay, well, let's carry this rucksack. Let's... Oh, actually, okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the Halligan tool in there. We're going to get the repair kit out. And then we're going to put the... I don't know. This in there. And then we're going to repair the car. Now I've got two slots in my inventory. So let's collect our go bag backpack and our... Oh, this isn't even an inventory item. This is the Mad Norma, which is going to be delivered to my house now. That's great. Now I have a second spiky car. Well, I'd say that is a lovely end to a very, very good day. And uh, my character's getting tired. This is perfect, uh, perfect timing. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get out of this valley. I think this way works. This is probably not the good way to get out of the valley, but it's a way. It's the most direct way. I guess that probably counts. I just want a way that doesn't involve me driving straight over some rocks. Oh, Mad Norma, you took my parking space. All right, if I've got this particular set of cars, this is probably the one I'll use the least. So we'll park it over here by the other pickup. Oh, hey, a bloater. Hey, another bloater. Come on, man. <laughs> there goes the third bloater. I love that bloaters are incapable of going over low walls. They just explode afterwards. All right. Here we land. I guess I will drop things off. Yeah, that looks good. And let's get in the Mad Norma so that it no longer shows its little recently delivered vehicle icon. And did it come with anything in the back? Oh, a little bit of something. All right, let's, um, let's outfit this guy a little bit for the next time I need him. So that means reloading his guns take your time man all right and then putting back the excess putting back stuff he's not going to need immediately because yeah because i think you know i've got a okay i've got a lot of magnum rounds <laughs> uh because those are on revolvers which are noisy and there aren't a lot of ways to, to suppress weapons that fire these things though if i do have do i have a lever action rifle that fires it let's see here so this is that's 45 okay these guys are 357 and yes i've got a seabass model 94 that fires 357 i don't think that's that is yes that is lever action too um I feel like I don't have a strong memory of this rifle. It definitely shouldn't have a professional break on it because it should have a suppressor on it because I can. Um, so there's that. Is there anything that fires 44? I don't think so. Yeah, I've got all these 44 firing pistols and re revolvers, but none of them can be suppressed. This is, yeah, this revolver, it could have like a break or a compensator or something, but it can't have a suppressor. And these guys, they can't have, they can't be suppressed either. So that 44, I have to use something loud for it. 
But the 357, I actually could use with the sea bass. So why don't I do that? Because that, that is the the round I have the most of right now. Let's get somebody with gunslinging, like Dahlia. Oh yeah, she's rocking a shotgun right now. My favorite shotgun, the cold turkey. But we'll we'll give the cold turkey a little bit of a break. And oh, and she's got this very suppressed pistol. Nice. But yeah, let's grab her that sea bass. I wanna I wanna try out the sea bass a little. Wait, where am I? Where am I on the list? I'm over here looking for nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Where is everything? There it is. There's the sea bass. So we'll equip that sea bass. We'll take off its break. Do I have a decent suppressor lying around? Okay, improvised suppressors. Hand me. No, okay, let, let's see if we can find a good suppressor on something. That's a choke. That's a choke. These are. This is the shotgun section. There will be only chokes. That's a break. I tend to put breaks on my high caliber weapons because I'm just using them on plague hearts basically ooh compensating suppressor that is not as good a suppressor but it's okay um let's see here it increases reload time it improves control and power while reducing noise okay Meh. maybe this will be good Let's stick it on there. And then let's grab ourselves a bunch of 357. And we'll find a way to put this stuff to use. Oh, this thing is loaded one bullet at a time, huh? That's how that works? Hmm. I've got questions. Okay, she looks like she's kind of loaded up for a plague heart. I mean, our goal is to complete my lethal sheriff dealie. So maybe she should actually go out and try to take down a heart. Now, there's a chance that she'll set off a chain reaction by trying to take down a heart. How many do we have? We've defeated half the hearts in this territory so far. We've got 15 left. We've done 15. We need 15. There's a good chance that the that the hearts will be so clustered together over here that killing one heart will make us kill all of the hearts. <laughs> um, so that is a problem we're going to have to solve, but we'll solve it next session. <laughs> For right now, I kind of like the idea of ending this session with nothing bad having happened. That feels kind of good. That's kind of what I needed today. So... There is a subscribe button, and uh, the video where I get everyone killed is probably that one. Uh, I think I've probably used up my good luck for now.